someone quote me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I used to think this. I used to think prenup. I take what I brought in. I, so whatever I brought in, I take out whatever in it. Yeah. The woman gets nothing. Yeah. That's what I used to think. Now, I'm pretty sure. Quote me if I'm wrong. That even if you sign a prenup, yeah, the woman is still entitled to something. Yeah. Still entitled to something. Someone tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. Now I'm not talking like I'm professional. Yeah. You lot can educate me. Yeah. I was reading up on it. Yeah, I was trying to read up on it the other day, but it was so boring. I really didn't care for it too much. I was like, fuck this, but I couldn't get the answer that I wanted on the internet straight away. So I was like, fuck it. A woman still gets something. Yeah. You still have to break her off some bread, apparently. I, I'm under the illusion, right? There's no way, right? There's no way, yeah. Even if a man, right? Even if a man is a millionaire, he marries a woman who worked at fucking McDonald's, yeah? She worked at McDonald's or Wimpy Burger, yeah? A woman earned uh, virtually nothing. She got married to a man and they divorced. There's no way that guy that's a millionaire is walking away with all his money and they're not breaking... The, the solicitors, whoever, in it, yeah? When the divorce comes, there's no way they're not breaking off that woman no bread. There's no way that man could be a millionaire, pick up a broke woman, and then when they get divorced, they go their separate ways and she remains a broke woman or whatever, in it, yeah? No way. I don't believe that. They, she gets something. I don't know how much it is. I'm sure she gets something, yeah? It's not going to be half, Yeah. It's not going to be half, yeah, because they signed the prenuptial agreement, but she can't get something. Fuck yeah, now, fam. I just see this comment, you know. <laughs> so, I'm highlighting those of Davis comment, but I'm laughing at AY London's comment. He said, just give her a fiver, you know. But imagine, yeah, yeah, I've seen it. So basically, I was looking online the other day, like the the top because I thought Oprah Winfrey was still one of the richest women in the world. Now, obviously, she became a billionaire, or whatever in it. But obviously, since then, more women have become billionaires and became richer than her. And when she become became the first billionaire woman, and she was the richest woman in the world, probably like twenty years ago. So there's going to be people that have you know beaten that record or whatever in it. But Jeff Bezos' wife was one of those women, right? I didn't even know who she was. I just looked through the list and I saw Bezos. Now, the list is comprised of just women only. So it's just women on this list. And I'm looking at the surnames and stuff. And they just, I didn't even look at the surname. I was just looking at the names. And then I just see something Bezos. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, well, that must be Jeff Bezos' wife. Yeah. It's just, it just boggles my mind that. I don't know how much she was worth before, but I know it were even a, a billion. I know she was even worth a billion, yeah? but you marry a man and you get you, you two is divorced and now you are worth a 38 billion. As long as that woman is sensible with that money, yeah? As long as his ex-wife, who's worth 38.3 billion, is sensible with that money. Her children, her her great grandchildren, who are living in two in the year five thousand, could be living off of that money. Yeah, as long as they're all sensible, yeah, they could be living off of that money. Yeah, their interest alone. Yeah, just literally that thirty-eight point three billion. Yeah, the interest on that. Could, could could fund the family for generations forever forever yeah the interest on that money alone because you can put money into an account and obviously the, the interest that comes you'd be like okay yeah the interest that comes per month right that's the salary or whatever in it yeah that those people get or that's that's their entitlement right and they're legally not allowed to to, to take more than ten thousand pounds out of um out of the interest so 
the interest that they get paid or whatever is like, let's say, for example, £10,000. They're only entitled to £10,000 per month. Yeah? The family, her descendants, yeah, who are, who are going to be living in two, three thousand years, could still be living off of that money. That's how much 38 billion is. Yeah. Her, her, her descendants could be living like that until the fucking world <laughs> gets hit by a fucking meteorite. Yeah? Literally.